Hello YouTubers, I'm Parwiz and uh, this is our first video in Python Selenium. So in this video we're going to have a simple introduction to Python Selenium and also uh, we are going to just uh, create an example and also I'm going to show you that how you can use uh, a Selenium driver for Google Chrome and also Mozilla Firefox. So Selenium is a set of tools for browser automation and it's mostly used for testing applications. Uh, but the usage of Selenium is not limited uh, to testing of applications, but it can also be used for screen scrapping and also repetitive tasks automation in a browser. Uh, uh, Selenium supports uh, automation for different browsers like Firefox, uh, uh, Internet uh, Explorer, Google Chrome, Safari, and also Opera. Uh, also, there are different tools of Selenium. Uh, for example, we have Selenium ID. It is a, a Firefox add-on, I think. Uh, also, we have Selenium Web Driver uh, that you can. Uh, the, there are different drivers that you can use for uh, uh, different programming language. Like, for example, you can use uh, for uh, uh, Python, Java, C Sharp, and also JavaScript. Also, it has Selenium standalone server. So now, if you see uh, the uh, documentation for uh, Python Selenium, Selenium Python, and uh, the first thing you need to install, uh, you can just use pip install Selenium, and it will be installed. After that, you need drivers. Now, you can see the Selenium requires a driver to interface with the chosen browser. For example, for the Firefox, we can use this driver. Now, if you come down, you can see that. Uh, there are different drivers that you can use. Uh, we in this video we will use Chrome and also Firefox. Okay, now uh, first we need to use uh, Chrome. Uh, I will add the link of uh, this uh, documentation in the video description. Uh, you can just click on this, and after that uh, you can see that uh, this is the uh, Chrome driver, and uh, you can use uh, according to your Chrome version. Uh, for example, 83, 81, 80, and you can just click on the download, download, uh, and it will be downloaded. After downloading, uh, so it's just an uh, uh, executable file. Uh, you need to copy that file and paste that where you have installed your Python. So where your Python.exe is located, you need to add that uh, driver. So also, if you're using if you're using the PyCharm ID as I'm using, you can just uh, copy, uh, paste that, and here you can see in external libraries we can just this is the uh, my Python that I have installed, and you can just open this uh, library root folder, and you can copy that file in here. You can see that it's uh, ChromeDriver.exe, and we have this in here. So also uh, this was for the Chrome and for the if you see for the Firefox also you need to go to this GitHub link and from there there are different uh, uh, releases according to your operating system you can choose one of them and uh, uh, you can just download that it's a zip folder and you can unzip it's also a uh, simple uh, executable file. After downloading, you need to again copy and paste that in your uh, Python folder. So you can just add, uh, so you can see this is the, uh, and you can paste it in here. So we have two drivers. Now after this, uh, I have already created a Python file and I'll add name of first. Uh, now the first thing we need to just uh, uh, import uh, the web driver and you can just say from selenium import web driver and we can just say driver web driver dot chrome because we're using chrome we are choosing chrome now uh, if you haven't added the driver in your uh, uh, for example and where you have installed your python you can just also you can uh, specify uh, the executable part and you can just add uh, the part of that uh, driver but uh, because we have already added we don't need this part in here now if I run this let me just run this and you will see that uh, my Chrome uh, browser will be open 
so now you can see that this is Chrome browser and you can see it's telling that Chrome is being controlled by automated test software uh, also you can open a website so we can just say driver dot get and in here you need to add so I'm going to just say HTTPS www.codeloop.org and now let me just run this and uh, okay now you can see that first it opened for me the Chrome browser and after that it will go to this uh, website uh, now you can see that this is my website my blog also uh, one important issue uh, if you want to just get the source code of uh, the videos you can just go to codeloop.org and you can get the source codes from here so now there are different uh, uh, let me just show you with another so you can just say let me just copy this and paste it in here this time I'm going to open google.com so google.com and now if I run this it will open google.com for me and now you can see that this is google.com and the groom is being controlled by automated test software so also you can uh, 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 get some uh, properties of the web page so for example you can print the title you can just say print uh, driver dot title and also you can print uh, uh, for example driver dot current URL driver dot current URL now if I run this So it will first open the uh, browser, after that it will open the website, and after that it will print the title and also the URL of that website. So now the, uh, it's loading. Now you can see that this is the title and also this is the uh, URL of the Google. Uh, also you can get uh, the source codes uh, uh, you can get the source of uh, the web page. Uh, you can just say driver dot, or we can print this. So print driver dot page source. And now let me just run it again. So now it's. Uh, So this is Google and now after the loading completed okay now you can see that this is the page source of Google uh, also there are different uh, comments that you can use okay now for that first let me just comment these uh, like this uh, for example you can just say driver dot full screen window if you want to uh, uh, full, uh, if you want a full screen window now if I run this you will see that it, I, I will have a full screen window for my browser so now in the first it will uh, load the Google and after the loading uh, completed uh, it became a, f a full screen browser so now you can see that it is a uh, full screen uh, let me just close this and uh, also you can uh, use a maximize window so this was full screen uh, you can just say driver dot maximize window and now if I run this you will see uh, that instead of a full screen window I will have a maximized window now it will first open the Google for me and after that it will uh, maximize the window so now it is uh, loading okay now you can see that we have uh, maximized window it's not a full screen 
so now also uh, there is another size that you can do you can set the window size according to your choice so you can say driver dot uh, window set window size set window size and you can give for example 300 300 so it's the width and height of the uh, browser or the browser window now it will first open or again okay, I should not make it smaller so now I am waiting for this after the loading it will make the width and height to 300 by 300 okay now you can see that it's 300 300 uh, also you can uh, if you want you can set uh, the for example uh, the x and y position and also the width and height so you can just say driver dot set when direct and you can give for example the x to 200 and the y to uh, for example 200 and uh, our width we need to give a width for this 200 and also we need to give height uh, 200 uh, and also you can close you can use driver dot close so after loading it will automatically close uh, the browser so now let me just run this so now first I'm going to okay I'm waiting for this for the loading of the Google now after this it will automatically close so like this you can do some basic uh, uh, coding in Python Selenium. Also you can use uh, Mozilla Firefox for this. So we have used Chrome. Uh, uh, as you remember we have already added the driver for the uh, Firefox. Now let me just comment this and in here I'm going to just create another driver and this time I'm going to just use a uh, Firefox like this okay now this time if I run this instead of uh, opening uh, uh, let me first close this uh, terminate this because uh, let me comment uh, these two okay so now if I run this And you will see that this time uh, I will have a Firefox browser. So now you can see that this is our Firefox and now it will uh, search for google.com <coughs> and you can see uh, this is the google.com and uh, this was using the Firefox browser so also if you want the source code you can just check the video description or you can check my blog codeloop.org and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel like the video and also share the video